So we're just walking backwards, big loose backwards circles forward, forward circles, as much space as you have. We go about six times each direction. Flame, flame. Feel those shoulders just getting greased up, moved up, loosened up. All right, now we're gonna go backwards. We're gonna do a quad stretch. We're gonna hold for one to three seconds with the quad stretch, and you're gonna step back. Then the other side, one to three seconds, you're stepping backwards for the quad stretch. All the way back as far as you did for the walking. Now you're gonna come forward with a knee hug. So knee hug, up, step down. Knee hug, up, hold. As you're walking forward, so whatever space you have, you'll all be on different stuff, depending on how much space you have. When you're coming forward, it's knee hug. When you're going back, it's quad stretch. Keep it moving. Leg you're standing on, make sure that knee stays flat and bent. So you're working on your balance at the same time, you're getting stretched, you get the hip opened up, quad stretch out. And get that leg ready, working on some balance. Let's go forward again, that knee hug. Take your time with these, don't rush these. You need to hold it for an extra second to get that extra stretch in the loop. Hold it for an extra second. You can feel whether or not you need to hold it a little more. Get those legs ready to move. You're gonna end up doing tons and tons of reps. Backwards with quad stretch. Yes. All right, now when we're walking forward, all you're gonna do is hold and stretch your right arm. As you come backwards, you're gonna fling open right on top, left arm on top right here. Then walk forward, stretching just your left arm. And fling it as you walk backwards. Fling it, fling it, back to the right arm. So you want the upper and lower moving the whole time. We're getting moving, we're getting working. Blood flowing. Just alternate which arm you're holding when you're walking forward. It doesn't have to be a crazy basketball, it's just to keep the lower body moving. Get the blood flow from head to freaking toe. Stretch it, walk in. Boom. Fling it, fling that chest open, right arm on top. Left arm on top. Then hold the other side. As you're walking forward, fling it, boom, boom. Yes, let's get one more time each side. We need to get them ready to work. Upper body's gonna get tons of work, core's gonna get tons of work, lower's gonna get tons of work, cardio's gonna get tons of work with just using your body. All right, you get stationary, get your feet wide, wide your shoulder width. You're gonna tap the floor at the bottom with both hands. Come up, breathe out, swing the chest open, and tap the floor, and come overhead with your hands overlap. Next time. So one time, opposite sides. Next time, straight overhead. But look, my hands are overlapped on top of each other. So open up and upper back. Don't just go here. You're not going to use as much as looking for. So breathe out as you come up. Hand over hand, open up and upper back. Breathe. Exhale when you come up. There it is. Boom. Alternate out to the side, and then overhead. Right there in place, you're gonna rotate between quad, the same ones we did, quad, knee, knee, shoulder, shoulder. Hold for as long as you need for each one. You one second, two seconds, three seconds. So hold for a couple seconds on quad, right quad. Over to the left quad. Over the right knee hug, all the stress we already did was getting them back to back now. Just getting the body used to moving side to side, getting your coordination down, getting used to shifting your balance side to side, you're on one leg, and then right back to the quad. Just rotate through all six stretches. And you get a full, effective warm up, pre warm up to the warm up. So the first couple rounds are going to be pretty much a secondary warm up as you build up those rounds. All right, let's go back to that wide stance. This time, you're gonna go down to your right, both hands go down to your right leg. So tap your right leg, fling the chest open. Then left leg with both hands, so you have to turn to the side, chest open. Back to the right leg, it's just time you're coming up. Then left leg, up. Let's do it. So it's right, arms out, left, arms out, right, Arms up, left, arms up. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. 
So both hands go to your right. Swing that chest over. Both hands go to your left. Swing it over. Both go to the right. Bring it up. Open up that upper back. Make sure you get those two ups in. And left and up. One more rotation through. One more rotation to the right. Breathe it. Make sure you're exhaling. We you open it up. Breathe it out. Right and up. Left and up. Yes, just shake it out. Shake it out. So we're going to have a group A and we're going to have a group B. Group A is going to be called our upper body group. Group B is going to be our lower body group. So we're going to start with one simple exercise on group A. We're just going to hit it, take a break, then one simple exercise on group B. We're going to go back to group A, do that same exercise, but we're going to add in a stage two to it. So a second piece to it. Then B, one, two. Then B, one, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to keep adding on another exercise every single round. So it's real simple as we get going. So we're going to start group A. We're calling it upper body because we're going to be down in that push-up position for a good amount of round. We're going to start with a walking squat for us just getting rolling. That's it. We're just going to hit a set of anywhere from five to eight of them, depending on how fast you want. I'll tell you, switch. We're all going to switch at the same time. So a walking squat for us. So squat down, step back one leg, step back the other leg, step in, step in, and stand up. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to get Anywhere from five to eight. I'm going to be watching a different one of you each time to see, and that's going to be my count for that round. So keep moving, keep moving. So walk this round, let's get started. Begin. Squat down, step back, step back, step in, step in, and squat up. Make sure you're squatting up and down. Don't lean over at the waist. Squat straight down to get down there. And then breathe out and come up. Squat down, step back right. Make sure you're also alternating, which might go back first. One time. Let the right leg go back first. Step in, stand up. Next time, let the left leg go back first. And squat it up. One more. And time. That was group A, round one. Simple stuff. Take it easier than that. But again, I said the first couple rounds, we can do it in a second there more. Let's go over to round group B, which is going to be just the lower. It's going to get the legs in a long chain of events. Starting with just a basic squat. So we're going to go five to eight squats. It's a joke. Simple. Just make sure your head is up. One. Perfect technique. Keep to the side. Head is up. Chest is lifted. I'm not leaning forward. My knees over my ankle. Let's do it. Let's get about five to eight squats. Into the nose down. Out the mouth up. Brace those abs. Sit back on the hips and heels. Exhale. Keep that core tight the whole time. Supporting your back. Breathe out the way up, even though it's easy, get in that breathing rhythm so that later on you won't have to think about it, it'll just come natural. And time. So these short rounds, we don't need any break. Once we get some walking rounds, we'll get a break. So now we're going back to group A, which is that walking squat thrust. We're going to add in a crawl out. So you're going to go squat down, step back, step back, step in, step in, stand up, and crawl out to a push-up position, crawl back in, and up. Let's do it. Five to eight times, depending on the speed you're working on. I will be watching a different one of you every single round, and you will be the timer. So make sure you're not just moving. Just sliding the squat thrust, walking squat thrust. Stand up. Go out. Let's go. Let's do it. Begin. You're standing up each time for now. Later on, we're going to stay down there and not come up and down. But right now, you're staying down. You're coming up and down each time. So squat down, step back, step back. We're not even doing a jumping squat for us yet. So let's get those hips and legs moving. And then crawl the hands forward. So the first half on the walking squat for us, your hands stay in place, your feet move, the crawl out, your feet stay in place, and your hands move. You're working your body in every single direction. We're going to work every single freaking muscle today, including your brain, as you have to keep remembering the chain and keep adding on to this round. Let's get a couple more. Just getting rolling. And time. All right, so right over to group B for round two. It was simple. All we did was a squat last round. This one was adding in a single knee raise. That's it. Raise those abs. A little split second pause up there for that knee raise. Step down, and then the other side. So just one single knee raise. You're already adding. So squat, knee raise right. That's one. Squat, knee raise left. That's two. Let's go. About six to eight of them. Let's do it. Breathe out, brace those abs, bring that knee up there. Get that split second pause when you come up. Squat down, split second pause, digging your core there. Balancing on that one leg. 
So we're gonna be chaining a whole bunch of pieces together. You need that single leg balance to get strong. Drive it. Let the abs bring that knee up for that knee raise. Strong. Into the nose down. Breathe out. Other side. Boom. And time. These are easy rounds. So just get the pump out time. We're going back over. Adding on a push up. So you're going to have a walking squat for us. The crawl out. Two push ups. We're adding in. You got that in your head. You started already. So it's going to be squat down, step back, step back, step in, step in. Stand up. Crawl out. Two push ups. Crawl back in. And that all is one rep. And we're just going to keep building on this chain. Let's do it. So walking squat for us to crawl out. The two push up. Let's roll. Let's do it. Keep working. Those of you hiding on camera, I can get a sense when you're not working, so you better keep moving. <clears throat> Ava's got three cameras on. Let's have two different Ava's. Keep rolling. Walking squat thrust. Crawl out. Two push ups. Let's start building this thing up. We're building this up to 10 rounds on A. 10 rounds on B. It's going to be a 10 piece complex that you're, you're not even, you're going to have, mind's going to have to remember it's like chain together. Each piece is setting up the next piece. Each movement setting up the next movement. Finishing it off. And time. All right, we're going over to B, the lower. We're adding on one single reverse one to the same way that you did the knee raise with. So I'm going to show you one real quick. Squat, knee raise right. If you can, without you stepping down, you're going to step back into the lunge and up back to the squat position. And squat, knee raise left, step back in the lunge. Listen, if you need to, after you do the knee raise, you step down, regroup, and then step back if you have to. That's just my All right, let's go. Three, two, one, boom, let's do it. Squat, knee raise right, right into the reverse lunge, step back out to that squat position. Squat. Knee raise left, reverse lunge, throw that left leg back, right back to that squat position. It all should just flow together. Take your time. It's a slow movement. There's such short movements on this B side, so take your time. Don't rush that reverse lunge. Don't rush that knee raise. Squeeze up there for a second before you step back. Hold it there. We want that leg working when you're bouncing. You want your core working by keeping that knee up. You're literally going to work every inch of your freaking body. Breathe out as you're coming up. On that reverse lunge. Drive that knee up as you're coming up to open the squat. That you chain together. When you squat as you're coming up, you should be boom, right to that knee raise. So don't stand up and then lift the knee raise. Joanna, get, get the knee raise going right away when you come up. Drop right to it. So as you're coming up, boom, right to it. Don't stand up and then do the knee raise. Let's chain together. Still slow and control, just let it chain. There you go, and then step back into it. Dig consciously in your head. Squeeze your core. You need that mind to muscle connection for every single one of these movements. You can modify that reverse lunge, just go down partially, or just take a step back and dip the knee. But they're all looking good here so far. These leg sets are a little easier here in the beginning. We need a few extra reps just to get those legs fired, glutes fired up, quads, hamstrings. Make sure you're sitting back on the heel and the hip of that front leg when you're doing that reverse lunge. And time, that's already round three. We are cruising, we are cruising. We're going over to group A. And listen, the only breaks you're gonna have this entire two hours that we're together this morning is on this time, I'm explaining what the next step is for the next exercise. So the second we call time, you start stretching and shaking and just paying attention to what the next round is. Because as I'm showing you what the next thing is, that's your only break this entire time. So use that time to sit. The second we call time, you start the recovery, get ready for the next round. All right, so this one we're adding in a knee tuck, simple. So you got that walking squat thrust. You come in, up, option, crawl out, do two push ups, and you're gonna do two knee tucks. Squeeze, squeeze, knee tuck right, knee tuck left, crawl back in, and stand up. Thumbs up if we got it. Yes, yes, we are rolling. Let's go in three, two, one, boom, let's roll. Walking squat thrust, we're still on walking squat thrust. Step in, step in, stand up. Squat back down for the crawl out. Crawl back. Two push ups. Two push ups. Two knee tucks. 
and then crawl back and squat up. Make sure you're squatting up and come up. Make sure you're getting two push-ups and two knee tucks. Also, make sure you're alternating which side of your knee tuck goes first. So one time, go right knee, left knee. Next rep, go left knee and right knee. You want to be getting perfect symmetry, alternating every single rep. Same thing when you're walking squat thrusts. Make sure one rep you're stepping back with the right leg first. Next rep, step back with the left leg first. Let's go. We're going anywhere from six to eight reps each here. One rep is that whole chain. Walking squat thrust, crawl out, two push, two knee tucks. We are cruising. Get those two full push ups if you can. Go partial push up if you have to and start losing it. We're looking good so far, but if you're doing the recording, Afterwards, modify if you need to, modify before you stop. Yes, looking good, looking good, keep rolling. I'm always watching one of you, make sure we get it to six or eight. I pick a number, I pick a square, and we keep rolling. Yes, and time. That's already group A upper, round four complete. All right, we're going to go to the lower. We're adding in a front kick. We're the same leg. We're the knee raise to the reverse lunge with. You're going to come right out of reverse lunge into a front kick. I'll show you one real quick. So you look quicker so you can see it. So squat, knee raise, lunge, bam. Step out to squat. Squat, knee raise left, reverse lunge, bam. Just let it flow. Just adding in the front kick. That's it. So let's all start. Let's get rolling. Pick a side. Three, two, one, and go. Squat, knee raise right. Not step, knee raise, then step back, left. No, you gotta step back to that lunge first. Knee raise, then lunge, then kick out of the lunge. Boom, there it is. Don't go break it, don't go kick it on lap or some shit. There's gonna be a foot hole in the walls. These crazy ass kicks. Breathe, breathe, go at your own pace. Listen, go at your own pace. Control these movements. Get the connection from your mind. It's those muscles into your boots, into your quads, into your core. Think about your abs. Your abs are working every set. Every exercise is an ab exercise. They should be tight and firm and supportive and strong, your core, every second of every freaking set. Breathe out. Step back to that lunge. Exhale and bam, drop that hip forward. Yes, yes, yes. Control. Control the squats. Perfect form from that squat. Perfect form on that knee raise. You're upright. And step back into that lunge with your upper body up and down and boom. Kick. We're cruising. We're cruising. And time. Don't forget, the second I call time, you need to start shaking, stretching. Because after I explain the next round, that is your only chance to recover. The longer the round, the longer it's going to take you to explain it. So that means the longer the break you're going to have. All right, this round, we're adding in a shoulder time. I'm going to show you one full rep while you're on that break. So you have that break. So you have your walking squat thrust, you have your crawl out. Your two pushes, your two knee tucks, and you're just adding in two shoulder taps, scroll back in, and stand up. It is stage five, five of group A. Just so you know, stage five does not mean you're halfway there at 10 groups because they're progressively longer. So you're not at 50% until you're at round eight, just so you know. So don't think you're halfway there until group five. This is still barely just getting started. Because it's ended, heavy and loaded on the back end, so that's where the work is. It takes much longer. All right, let's do it. Going in three, two, one, boom, walking squat thrust, crawl out, two push up, two knee tuck, two shoulder tap, putting it all together. And still get coordinated. Do knee tucks. Do a right leg knee tuck, then a left leg knee tuck, right shoulder tap, left shoulder tap. Next rep, let your left leg go back first in squat thrust. Do left leg knee tuck first, and do left shoulder tap first. So get coordinated. Pick a side, stick with it. Next rep, do the other side. And go at your own pace. Don't think you have to rush through this. Take your time. Control down. Breathe it out. Time for those crawl outs. There you go, Megan. Nice pace. There you go. Find your pace that works for you. Although we're going with the honor system and it's all about integrity, I'm sore when you're hitting off the screen. Those of you that I can't see at the bottom, you're getting some deep, good quality push ups and soul tax. You're not just laying on the floor out of the ground, off the camera. We're going, we're cruising, nice pace. Do what you have to do, breathe, breathe. 
And listen, you need to stop in between reps for a second and shake it and stretch it. You're going at your own pace. You do what you got to do. We're all different levels. If you need to modify, you modify. Stop for a second and shake it out. No big deal. I've done it. I do it all the time. Do what you have to do to get through the set. You to stop for a second to sip something. Sip. Get back to grinding now. Do what you have to do. Just controlled movement. Don't move any faster than perfect. You need perfect technique this entire time. And time. Nice, nice round. We are tipping away. We're going to lower round five. So we have our squat. Knee raise. I'm sure you can decide this one. We have a squat. Knee raise. That same leg steps back. We've got our body coming down. Kick. Feet are going to come together for a one for one power squat. So all you're doing is a power squat, which is both feet pulling away together and drop into the squat. Pop, pop, and drop. So it's squat, knee raise, lunge, front kick, power squat, group B, round five, going in three, two, one, and boom, let's roll. This is it, take your time. This is a, the lower set is for now much easier than the upper. So this is giving your arms a, a break from being down there and just finish with that pop, pop, drop. On the lunge, don't forget, you're step back in that lunge. You just your upper body up straight up down. Both knees are 90 degrees. Your knees coming close to the floor. And you know if you have screwed up knees, if you modify any of these movements, don't go as low, don't go as deep. Just get a partial bend, modify it, do what you gotta do. Don't jam up your knees. You know what you're, how your knees are, you know how to work around it. Chain all of these together. Start that controlled squat to get that knee up there, grinding the abs. Back for the lunge. Boom for a kick. Right to that pop, pop, and drop out wide. Pogo hop, double leg pogo hop for two. Drop into a wide squat. Make sure you're landing smooth, sitting back on your hips and feel deep on that power squat. So it's not going towards your weight, not going forward towards your toes and knees. Keep it driving, keep it moving. Couple more, couple more. Boom, you are working. Now we're getting into it. You're not starting to get out of breath. My is not up there. You're not starting to sweat. Doing something wrong because now we're starting to get longer sets. They're going to keep getting longer and longer and longer as we progressively add on to these complexes. Three, two, one, and time. You are good, good, good. Shake it, shake it. Every time the second I call time, that is your chance to catch your breath because you know. The next set, set coming up is going to be even longer than the one before that. So this one, all we're doing is adding in four mountain climbers. Four mountain climbers. Here's what we're going to do, though. You're not, at this point now, you're not going to come up after the squat thrust. So check it out. You're going to squat down, step back, step back, step in, step in. You're going to crawl forward right into your crawl out, and then finish the whole chain with your push-up, your knee tucks, your shoulder taps, and then four jumping mountain climbers. After your four mountain climbers, get your feet secure back and wide and then crawl back and come back up. So the difference is you are not coming up after the walking squat thrust. You're walking your feet back, walking forward, and then just a right tack cross. You're staying slow the whole time on that upper body. We're into the game now. We're past round five, we're on round six. No more coming up in between the rest of the way, all the rest of these rounds. Thumbs up on that, we get that, make sense? Yes, perfect. Let's roll, let's do it. Three, two, one, boom. Walking squat thrust. So legs step back, step forward, both feet. Once both feet are forward, then crawl the hands forward, right? Step back, don't stand up. After you crawl the, crawl the feet forward, you go right tap, crawl out. Two push ups, two knee tucks, two shoulder taps, four mountain climbers. After the four mountain climbers, get your feet both back and together. Back, both feet back, and then core your hands back and fist drop. There it is. So here on this walking squat thrust, squat down, step back, step back, step forward with both feet. Now crawl forward right from there. Don't come up. Yes, yes, there it is. You got it. And if, and if you need to, I saw that, Megan. I saw that, Megan. It came up in between. And if I didn't see it, you swinging your hands in the air, punching the air, gave it away. You told on yourself. But that's fine. And even if you did, like, if you keep your arm break after, after the squat thrust, if you had to, you just stand up. That's the easy way to modify it. That stand up is just a break for your upper. 
And then those four mountain climbers finish it off. <coughs> Don't forget, after those mountain climbers, get your feet back and apart, and then finish off the second part of the crawl out with bringing your hands back. We are rolling, we are rolling. This is round six of group A upper. Keep cruising, keep cruising. Drive it, drive it, drive it, breathe it out. Control those movements. Make sure you're not coming up after that squat for us like you've been doing. Just squatting to get down there for that walking squat for us. Forward, right into the crawl out, into those two push ups. Finish it off, couple more, one more. And time! Yes, nice round. We're getting there. We are getting there. We're tipping away. Round six of B, the lower round. We finished last round with that power squat. So if you hit that power squat out wide, you're going to come right back together for a power lunge, a pop, pop, and drop. So you should do the sides. So you hit pop, pop, drop for squat, pop, pop, drop for lunge. Listen, if you can't do that jump and landing, that's fine. So pop, pop. And then just do a stagger step, a little skip step for reverse lunge to happen. If you can jump into it, it's still smooth. Keep it smooth. See, it's just light and smooth into that. Then come up and, and finish and start the next rep off. So we're adding squat to knee raise, from lunge to front kick, power squat to power lunge, group B, lower body, sixth round, going in three, two, one, rolling. Let's do it. You're going squat, knee raise, lunge. Front kick, power squat, pop, pop, and drop. Power lunge, pop, pop, and drop. Don't bang on your knees. This is where the rounds start getting a little harder on the legs because you're adding those extra plyo movements in, those extra bounces, those extra jumps. So take your time. Don't rush these. You can't jump, don't jump. You can do the pop pogo and then just step back for another reverse lunge if you have to. Or if you start losing, your knees start feeling it, start getting tired. Always just modify it first. Piece by piece, chain this together. Just feel the body flowing. One move to the next move. Big game of kick ass chest. Flowing, flowing, flowing. Yes. Smooth on that pop, pop, and drop. No impact as you're coming down. You're doing those squats and those lunges and those power squats. Make sure your upper body is always straight up and down. You're sitting back on your glutes, on your hips, your heels. Breathe it out. Cruising. Round six, group B. Yes, yes, yes. One more. One more means one full rep. I'm always looking at one of you. I'm always using one of you as my timer. Time. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Stretch it out. All right, we're back to group A, round seven. We're adding in a low plank jack. So after you finish those four mountain climbers, you're here, one, two, three, four. Your feet are together. You guys come down with your forearms and just hit two low plank jacks. Come back up and then finish off your crawl out. So you have to come up first, get your feet apart, and crawl your hands back, squat up. Good, questions? I gotta leave you, I got a tennis match in 15 minutes. Well, you better be warmed up and fix the match in tennis. But I'm all warmed up for my tennis match, so thank you. <laughs> all right, see you guys tomorrow. Time. All right, see you later. All right, bye-bye. All right, let's do it. Adding on that low plank jack, just two low plank jacks. Go in three, two, one, and let's do it. Walking squat thrust. Stay down for the crawl out. Lower edge that crawl out. Two push ups, two knee tucks, two shoulder taps, four mount climbers. Get down at your forearms. Low plank jack for two. You jump apart and get a twice. Now stay down there for two jacks. You gotta do two jacks when you're down that low plank. 
Yes, yes, yes. Breathe, breathe. Take your time. Work through it piece by piece. At this point, it's going to start getting difficult. So come up, take a breather when you need to. Down at the elbows, two jacks down low. Then get your feet back apart. So you can crawl back with your feet apart. Go at it. There you go. You don't want to crawl back with your feet close together. You're going to bend your knees too much. So after that low plank jack, separate your feet. So you can even, you can end the low plank jack with your feet apart. So you already can blow right to that crawl back to finish off the crawl out and stand back up. And make sure you're squatting up and down in the beginning and the end. Do those abs tighten those push ups. Don't worm it, don't worm it. Don't hit the lower back. You don't want to spin the lower back. Keep that core tight. If you're starting to lose it on the push up, just go halfway down if you have to, rather than doing the four lay thing. Take it out in between. Do what you got to do. Modify it. Take a breather if you have to. It's getting real from here. Every round from here is going to be a mental and physical challenge. So work through it. To keep a pace. You do not have to go fast on this to get a cardio effect. You could just go a slow, steady pace, and your heart rate will still be through the roof. You will be dripping sweat. You'll be working every single part of your freaking body. Finish it off strong. Almost there. It's round seven already on group A. We are there. Like that, keep the hips down, feet apart, roll back, and Time, nice round. Now the real rounds are starting. Seven, eight, nine, and ten is when the real work begins. This is it now. This is where you gotta start focusing. Give you a little couple extra seconds before we do each round because you need to recover at this point. Shit's gonna get harder, harder and harder each round. As hard as that round was, this was gonna be even harder because it's longer. We keep adding a chain onto it. So you should be stretching those shoulders, stretching those quads, stretching the glutes, the hamstrings, the calves, everything you can, the chest. Stay loose. Hydrate your knees in between, sit something, keeping it moving. What we're adding onto lower now for round seven is an actual squat jump, two squat jumps. So you hit a power squat, which is a power lunge, and we're going to two squat jumps. So you had a power squat, you had power lunge, and right into two squat jumps. You start losing on the jumps, just do the movement without the jump, without the choir, if you have to. Do what you have to do. All right, let's do this. Group B, lower. Coming up, round seven already on group B. Adding in two squat jumps. Going in three, two, one, and begin. Squat to knee raise. Squat, knee raise. Reverse lunge. Front kick, power squat, power lunge, two squat jumps. So let's roll. Always walk you through the first couple, and then you go at your own pace. As we get later in the game, get a little more careful with those, those power and those plows and those jumps. You're not banging on your knees, you're not bashing your knees. Keep moving. Squat, knee raise, lunge, front kick, power squat, power lunge, squat jump. Lower body complex, chaining it all together in one move. Yes, yes, yes. And remember a workout like this. Let's say take this round seven. You can just start at round seven, do that for three minutes straight, take a minute break. Do this, this chain right here, you're on for three minutes, take a minute break. You can do that three or four times. That's a full workout right there in itself. Just you can always take this workout and take any stage of it and make that its own workout. There's 10 workouts in one here, basically. So you, you, you're short on time one day, you don't have much equipment, you don't have much space. You're at the beach, you could just throw a piece of this workout together and make it a quick 15, 20 minute killer freaking workout with both of these A and Bs. Work through, work through, you're getting there. Finishing off and time. Round seven is done. Round eight. We were doing the low plank jack. So once you finish, you're down there for low plank jack for two. You're just coming up for two high plank jacks, aiming your feet apart so you can crawl back and come up. Shake it out, recover between your rounds are getting longer and longer. 
harder and harder. So we just add in two high plank jacks. So from the top, it will be squat thrust, crawl out, push up, knee tuck, shoulder tap, mountain climber, low plank jack, high plank jack. I told you you gotta use your brain here too. We're using every single freaking muscle. And here's the thing with the squat thrust. If you're feeling good, you're gonna do an actual squat thrust now. The walking squat thrust now from rounds eight, nine, and 10 are going to jumping squat thrust. So you're jumping back, jump forward, go right into your quad. So the squat thrust are jumps if you can, but the reason why we do those other versions of it, it's work. Walking squat thrust is definitely work, but now you also know what modifications to do. So you could maybe start the first half of the step with the jumping squat thrust. If you start losing it and getting tired, you just revert back to the walking squat thrust, or you can stick with the walking squat thrust if you need to. You challenge yourself. You could do one round, one rep of jumping, one round of walking, or try to go the whole round jumping. Do what you gotta do, do what you can, but you know the modification now because you just did it for all those other rounds. That's how you modify that squat thrust if you start losing the jumping. But let's try the jumping, see how it goes, and then go back to modifications we need to. We're adding in two high plank jacks. We are going in three, round eight, in two, in one, bam, let's roll. Jumping squat thrust, jump your feet forward. Push ups, to knee tuck, crunching those abs, knee tuck, to shoulder tap, four climbers, to low plank jack, jack and jack, and then to high plank jack, and finish that crawl out. There it is. Look at that. Boom, bend those knees and squat up. That is one rep. That entire chain, eight piece chain, is only one rep. We need six to eight of them. Do what you gotta do, work through this. This should not be easy. The, 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 the real work here is eight, nine, and 10. You are cruising. Work through it piece by piece. Take the time of those shoulder taps. Don't think it's a race. Don't rush it, because you're gonna end up just losing your technique. Yes. Low plank jack to high plank jack to finish off. And make sure you're squatting up to come up. Here we go, good pace, Clara. Joseph and Ava, 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 keep moving. I don't see you, but I need some energy. I need some flow. Attack these. Harder it gets. The more tired you get, the more focus you need to have on your technique and your control and your form. The more tired you get, the stronger you need to get. The more tired you get, the faster you need to get. That's how you need to think about it. Focus on the technique, complete focus. Shake it out in between. You need a breather, take a breather. Then breathe, you jump back into the game. Jumping on the squat thrust if you have to. If you start losing it, just go back to the walking squat thrust. This should be difficult at this point. If you're struggling, you shouldn't think, oh, I suck because I'm struggling. If you're not struggling, you should think, oh, I do suck because I'm not struggling. But you should be, no matter what level you're at right now, you're struggling at this point. Make sure those hips are down for those plank jacks. Your body's straight and strong and solid, locked in place. This is off. We're almost there. Round eight. Group A. Once I see my target, stand up which is Clara, boom, time. We are good, good, good. Shake it, shake it. It's only getting longer and harder from here. So shake it out, stretch it, stretch those legs. We're going to group B for round eight. We're adding in two lunge jumps. So you hit the power squat. You hit the power lunge right into two squat jumps, right into two lunge jumps, one each leg. That's it, adding a lunge jump. Last two for legs, nine and 10 are not bad. Pieces we're adding on are not too hard. So this is the hardest part right here, once we add these lunge jumps. Steve, can you do the last uh, thing again? Yes, I'll oh, you go from the side. So you hit the power squat, power lunge, two squat jumps, two lunge jumps. Just alternating, one right leg forward, just jump and switch, alternating lunge jumps. You have to, you just go alternating reverse lunges. The jump, you start losing on the jumps. It's getting late in the game. You don't want to be pounding on your knees too much, so be smart about it. All the time, I'll do an ex a, a session like this, and by this round, I'll stop doing some of those jumps, or I'll only do a jump in one rep, and 
not do a regular for the next rep. So I do it all the time myself, just to be smart. If I'm feeling my knees or getting whatever, wearing down, so do what you have to do. Nothing wrong with it. All right, this is round eight, lower on B, adding lunge up. Let's do it from the top. I'm gonna walk through the first one. Let's do it. Squat, knee raise, reverse lunge, kick, power squat, power lunge, squat jump, lunge jump. There it is. Careful on those jumps. Land smooth, land light on your hips and your heels, not your toes and your knees. We are rolling, we are rolling. We are deep into this game here. We are deep in the game. This is how you kickstart a freaking Sunday. Other people are sleeping in their little warm covers. You are out here kicking ass. Not even just doing a, not even just exercising. You're not even working out. You are training. You are training right now. You're training your body for any situation. You are training your body for life. Because this right now is not even physical anymore. This is mental and emotional workout at this point. You get through these rounds. Just staying focused, thinking about the technique, thinking about controlling, thinking about why you need this. That's what this is all about at this point. This is going to get you through it. Finish strong, finish strong. We are getting there. Kick it and boom, and time, nice. All right, we are adding in now on the, on the upper. So you had your two low plank jacks. You came up for two high plank jacks. You need to go back down low for alternating Superman, two times. So right arm with left leg, left arm with right leg, back up to the top, and then crawl back in and squat up. So it's too low plank jack, too high plank jack. You gotta go back down low for alternating Superman, come back up high so that you can crawl backwards. A lot of up and down. This is where our brain, our focus starts coming in as we start adding these pieces together. It starts making sense and we stop having to think about it and just let the body just take over. The correct technique and work. Just be moving and shaking. This round's gonna be pretty hard. Round nine of A. You got those arms for a while. You're gonna be going up and down. You're gonna be going left and right and shifting, having to keep that core tight to make you not dip to either side as you're shifting up and down. And, and, and another shoulder taps and a knee tucks on one leg at one point, one arm at another point. Let's do it. Begin. Jumping squat thrust to start. Walking squat thrust if you need to. So squat thrust to crawl out, to push up, to knee tuck, to shoulder tap, mountain climber, low plank jack, high plank jack, low superman. Let's roll, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're working. There we go. Go right attack, crawl out after that, jumping squat thrust, two push ups. Nice. Knee tuck, shoulder tap, mountain climb, low plank jack. High plank jack, low superman, back down low, down low, then opposite arm, opposite leg, then the other side, back up high, come back up to the hands, and then crawl back. No, you're good, you're good, that's next. Actually, that's round 10. Joanna wants to jump right to round 10, I see it. Try to get the high plank superman, you knew it was coming up, it just makes sense and it flows, that's next round. As you come up, you do what you gotta do. You stop for a second, you need to stretch your leg, you need to take a sip, you do what you gotta do. And then get back into the game. This is hard stuff at this point. Just abs strong, back straight, hips down, while you're holding that push up position. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sips down, and once the hips go up, you're doing that low plank or high plank jack. Working through it. Abs are strong. Think of core. Core is holding you together. The core is connecting the upper and lower body. It's keeping you coordinated, keeping you connected. That's what's holding you together. Is you're doing all this shifting and up and down and left and right and opposite side. Strong core. This is already round freaking 
10 or 9 on A. We are there. See, we have to go, but it was amazing. All right, see if you can finish off rounds 9 and 10 later on. I, I can't breathe. I'm sweating wet. <laughs> And time on that. Yes, yes, yes. Shake it. Recover. At this point, you should be freaking shot at this point and need this time to recover. That's where you should be at this point. Not then push the pace and get to that point. Every time you should be struggling to finish these sets. So we're going to be the lower round. Group B, round nine, all we're doing is adding split jacks, four split jacks. It's just front to back jacks, just legs only. It's an easy addition because you already got plenty of jumping. So it's literally just front to back jack, one, two, three, four, that's it. So you hit that power squat, power lunge, squat jump, lunge jump, and then just split jack for four. So four total, it's just one, two, three, four. You don't need to do anything with the arms, we're going just with legs here, you those arms a complete break. We are almost there. This is nine we're only going up to ten so really only got three sets to go and we are done that's it they're the longest sets of the day most amount of time most amount of energy so we get a little extra break here so we get a quality set shake it stretch it we're going to get going on this because you're going to want another break before we go to round 10 on the upper so let's do this lower so we get another longer break after so let's do it lower round nine and in four split jacks let's go in three in two, in one, boom, let's do it. So start with squat, knee raise, reverse lunge, front kick, power squat, power lunge, squat, jump, lunge, jump, and four split jacks. Cruising, yes, yes, yes. Working through it, that whole full chain Nice, nice, let it change together. Just let each piece flow to the next piece. That's what it's all about. Getting that rhythm, getting that flow. Connecting in your head, the muscles you're working to get those lunges. Think about sitting on the heel and the glute and the hip of the front leg. You're doing those squats. You're sitting back on the glute so much, on the heel so much, you should be able to wiggle your toes in the air. Do not, don't push forward on your toes and your knees. Not where you want to be. Nice work, Megan. Nice work. Getting through it. This is round nine on group B. Only one more to go on each group after this. That's it. We are there. Banging it out. Banging it out. Finishing off. And time. Nice. This is it. All you're adding on. Who goes for adding on? I'm round 10 for upper. Who knows? Call it out. Joanna, you know it because you already did it. Actually. Hi, Superman. Hi, Superman. So you're on two low playing jack, two high playing jack, two low Superman. And then you finish those two low Superman, you're on pop, pop, coming up high, same. Take your time. Rushing is in the round. And make your feet, make sure your feet are apart, fall back in, and come up. This is the top of the mountain, the last round of group A. This is the main round of the day, right here. This is what it's all about. This full chain. This, this full this round right here literally is an entire workout itself. You need to put a little workout on there. This round right here, group 10. Getting everything in there. All right. Let's get set up. Finish that hydration. Jumping on the squat press, slow to the crawl out. Let's go in three, two, one. Begin. So you're doing a jumping squat press. I'm going to walk through the first one. Wide away to the crawl out. Two push ups. Two knee tucks. Take your time. Two shoulder taps. Four climbers. Two low plank jack. Two high plank jack. Two low Superman, two high Superman, 
crawl it back, squat up. That is the round, the set. All right, cruise along. There it is. Working through, working through. Looking good. Keep that back straight. Don't let those hips pop up. If you're doing those Supermans. They're going to want to lift up a little bit. Your hips. Try to keep them down. Try to keep your back as flat as possible. Drive it, drive it, drive it. So last time on A. You need a second to shake those arms out. Stop for a second. Get back into it. Got to modify in the movements. Modify it. Can't get up and down anymore. Just touch the knee to help yourself get up and down on the low planks to the high planks. Work through it. We are here. This is the end. End of the round. End of the workout. Final round. Round 10 of A and B. And some dude just got knocked out unconscious on Claire's screen behind him. Keep moving. Keep working. Crawl it back, squat it up. Make sure you're squatting up and down for that call out, for that squat thrust. Don't lean over, don't slump over at the waist. We're moving, we're moving, this is it. Last, last top, top and not last round. We're gonna go a little longer to make sure we get that rep, those reps in. The full chain, and then we just got group B for the round 10, and that is it, you're done, this is it right here. Working, 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 finish it off. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. Finish it off. I'm watching one of you to finish it. Time and round 10, group A, extra off is done. Nice work. All we have is B. Round 10, finishing it off easy because you already got so much of those power squats and power lunges, squat jumps and, and jump lunges. We don't need to go too much more than that. So that's why we just added those four split jacks from there. It's just two regular jacks, just legs on. Regular jacks of the finishing up top of that mountain. That's it. That's all you're adding. Because after all those jumps, you don't need to add some more jumps in the row. That would just be overkill. So it's just four split jacks and two regular jacks for round 10. So it's squat to knee raise to lunge, front kick, power squat, power lunge, squat jump, lunge jump, split jack, jumping jack. Bam, done. This is it, last round of the day. We'll take that last shake, last sit, and we're just gonna work through this. You're out of breath, you're tired, it's hard, you don't have much juice left, you're gonna bang this out and call it a day. Let's get set up. Breathe, big deep breaths, in your nose, out your mouth. Let's go in three, in two, in one, final round of the day, boom, let's do it. Squat, to knee raise, to reverse lunge, to kick, to power squat, power lunge, squat jump, lunge jump, split jack for four, jumping jack for four, all just legs, or two, sorry, jumping jack just for two, just the legs, regular, and that's the rep, that's it, there's one, chipping away. Just need a few more and you are done. A few more and you are done. That was one full rep. It's a long ass rep, I'll tell you that. Working through it. You got this. Keep those abs tight. Keep controlling your body. Don't slam down. No impact. Up and down. Working through it. Working through it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Control those moves. Make sure you're not stomping down. It's freaking late in the game. Don't stomp down those flowers and those jumps. You have to skip the jumps and just go regular. Do what you have to do. Don't kill your knees. You can lay your game. You bash it on your joints. Feeling good. Keep rolling with it. Almost there. Almost there. Bam, 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 bam. This is off. We are done. We are done. Out there. Finish it with work. Couple seconds left. Megan, where you at? I want to finish with some work. Here we are. Let's finish this off. This is it. One more rep. And we're done. Here you go. Nice. Just got to pop, pop, and drop. Pop, pop.
Bob and drop and lunge. Two squat jump. Two lunge jump. Four split jack. Two jumping jack. Boom! Time! Nice work. We are done. Right away, lay on your back on the floor. Lay completely flat on your back on the floor. Legs totally straight. Arms straight overhead. Long stretch. Big deep breaths. Recovery process starts right now. You should also have your recovery meal prepared. They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That is bullshit. Your most important meal of the day is your post-workout meal. So every workout is a meal after that workout is the most important meal of the day because you need to start the recovery process. Otherwise, you're gonna break down precious muscle. All right, bend both knees right here. Now hug the right knee to the chest and straighten the left leg out. Flat on your back. Hug the right knee to your chest, left leg is straight and loose, and we're just holding for 30 seconds. Big, deep, strong breaths. Just hug that knee to the chest with the left leg open and loose and straight. So open to that hip flexor. All that work and up and down, you need to recover right away. Recovery is just as important as the work. All right, slowly ease out of that stretch. Ease out of that hip, don't let it hang down. Ease it forward. Reach both arms always straight overhead, long stretch and reach, and hug the left knee to the chest, keep the right leg straight. <sighs> Start lowering that heart rate consciously, controlling that breathing into your nose, out through your mouth as you get deeper into that stretch. Ease into the stretch. And when we, when we let go of it, ease out of the stretch. Slowly ease out, extend that leg forward, reach both arms overhead. Long stretch and reach. And hug both knees into your chest. That should flatten your lower back out to the floor. Stretching the hip, head and neck and spine are resting on the floor. Big, strong, deep breaths. You're putting a lot of work, you need to stretch and recover. Put both feet on the floor with the knees bent, feet flat on the floor, the knees bent. Knees bent, feet flat on the floor, arms straight out to the side. Just open that chest up. Slide them on the floor all the way overhead without your arms coming off the floor. Reach overhead. Slide them on the floor, back out to your sides. Open that chest up and pull your right arm straight across and stretch your right shoulder and hold for 30 seconds. Stretching that right shoulder. Big deep breaths while you're stretching it. Hold the stretch. In the beginning, we were doing dynamic stretches, get ready for work. Now we're holding the stretches, static stretches, starting to let the muscles recover. Open that chest up, arms straight out to your sides. Arms on the floor, slide the hands way overhead. Get that long stretch and reach. Keeping them on the floor, slide them back out to your sides. And pull the left arm across, stretch your left shoulder. Hold that stretch. 20, 30 seconds. Knees out of that stretch. Knees out, release the arm. And we are done. Come up to your feet. If you have any questions, need any help with your nutrition, you can unmute yourself or you can call, text, email, Facebook message, smoke signal, whatever the hell you need to do. So many ways to get help. There's no excuse not to get help if you're struggling with something. Do not suffer in silence. Don't struggle in silence. If you need help with anything, and this obviously goes for anyone watching the recording also. So don't, it's not just for you here live. Make sure you're reaching out, asking for help, asking for clarification, asking for alternatives. If you need any supplementation, we can get you on some Herbalife stuff. If you need it, I use this stuff every day, at least two, three times a day for different parts of my day. And I'm full of energy all the time. Literally, almost about to turn 43 years old in the best shape of my life, the most energy in my life. Get up earlier than ever. Have more energy the entire day. Never fade. And it keeps you, and, and, and it's also in the, in the best mind frame ever. So keep it rolling. You did an awesome workout. This shit was hard. This shit, let's unmute yourself. Joanna, 1 to 10. How hard, how hard did you feel this workout? Army? 
One to ten. How did you feel with this workout? Ten being hard, one being easy. Where was it? How was this workout for you? Oh, it was hard. I love it. It pushed one me. One to ten. Too. What was the number? One to ten or twenty. <laughs> Megan. Ten. It was definitely more than a 10. <laughs> There's no such thing as a 10. You don't, you, you don't know what a 10 is. 10 doesn't even exist. Clara, what do you got? 10. <laughs> all right, so think about that. On a scale of 1 to 10, you all completed a 10, and you're 10. sitting here with a smile on your face. Think about what you just accomplished. This is your victory of the day. Stack small wins throughout your day nonstop. Don't think about always hitting the big home run swing. Little wins are what's going to give you victory in your day in both your fitness, your nutrition, your weight loss, your performance, and then in your career, your life, everything. Don't worry about the big explosions. Just little wins. Stack it, stack it, stack it. Acknowledge it. Be grateful for it. And just keep moving forward. Your lights are out and all these things go wrong and there's a home and lots of all this other crap going on. It doesn't matter. Don't think about that stuff. Think about the little wins. Like you just killed a, a workout. You gave, gave it a 10 and you're still there. The rest of your day is going to be easy. That's a, you just started the day with a massive victory. I just keep stacking tiny wins on that and acknowledge those wins. Write them down every day. I'll write down the end of the day, all my wins for the day. That's it. And then I'll have a brain dump. I'll dump all the bullshit for the day. I'll put it on paper and that stuff's gone forever. I don't care. It's gone. It doesn't affect me. And I'll focus on the wins. And then I'll write down one of my priorities for the next day. And it just, it'll, it'll completely shift the way you're thinking. You're not really kind of journaling or writing. You definitely should be. Or planning your priorities. All right? There's no questions. Or come up with any questions later. You put them on the group or just email them. We are good. Let's finish with a hairy knuckle fist bump, a virtual fist bump. Yes. Look at that. Social distancing. That is fine. All right. Nice work. You are freaking awesome. I'll talk to you later. Needy, how about anything? No, anytime. No excuses. See you later. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.